Jenkins, just in time. Now, so, sorry, I've made this up. Remember, Jenkins, if, with emphasis on the if, this woman is a genetically engineered replicant, then it would appear she doesn't know it. If, if is good. And it is our responsibility to find out one way or another using this foolproof computerized test. Oh. So I shall be asking her a series of carefully crafted questions to gauge her emotional responses and find out if she is or is not indeed human. Oh. And it is your role just to shadow me for the duration of the test. Can you manage that? Understood, sir. Good, 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 good. Now, um, if she is actually a replicant who has successfully infiltrated us, she will have to be retired. Oh, you mean with this? No, with a toothpick. What do you think I mean? That's right, sorry. Right. So, are there any further questions? Oh, yes. Yes, I do have a couple. Uh, firstly, surely we could just work out if she's a replicant by saying if she's got giant metal spider legs? Replicant, not replicator, you retard. Oh, right, okay. Uh, second question. If she doesn't know that she's a replicant, how have you convinced her to sit through this test? Ah, a valid query. Oh. I put a bit of spin on it, you see, because uh, she thinks she's sitting the British citizenship <coughs> test. Oh. You see, I've even slipped a few questions in from the admissions test uh, so she won't notice. Frightfully clever. Yes, I thought so. If you'd be so good as to show her in, please, we can get on with this. Oh, right. Yes, so. You can come in now. Right now. Ah, Miss Rachel. Um, how are you? Uh, are you ready to, um, begin? Let's just get on with this, please. Good, good, good. First question. A friend knocks on your door after a very long day of travelling. Do you A. Welcome them with a hug and a smile, B. Ask them about their journey, C. Talk about the weather, or D. Hit them with a the fish? The weather, obviously. Mm. I see. Question two. Chips. Do you pour a little bit of ketchup on the side of the plate for dipping chips, or do you smother the entire plate in ketchup like some sort of disaster area? Oh, surely that was obvious. Children. I don't like ketchup. I'm afraid you have to pick one of the options. Why? How is it relevant? My responses are limited. You must ask the white questions. Fine. Whatever. Mm. Oh, look at the chips, I suppose. Oh! Hey. Third question. <laughs> a stranger is approaching you along a very narrow hallway. Before you know it, he's almost upon you, neither of you having stepped aside. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do I do? No, what does she do? What uh, do you do? I'll have to hurry you. Some sort of little dance where we dodge around each other left and right, backwards and forwards, a few times in sync until one of us smiles, steps aside and relents and lets the other pass with a light chuckle. Oh, very right, good. Shut up, Jinky. <laughs> you are in a queue for an ATM machine. After a very long wait indeed, the gentleman in front of you in the queue turns round to you grumbly and says, It isn't working. I'm so sorry. What do you do? Oh, that's a tough one. I suppose I thank him politely and then immediately try the ATM myself. <laughs> She's doing very well. Shush. Uh, uh, we are about halfway through the test. Would you, um, how are you feeling at the moment? It's not taking. So you don't need a comfort break or a drink or anything? Let's just get this over with you. Very well. My colleague uh, will bring you an item. If you could please seize the item eagerly with both hands and then wait for him to return to me. Bog rail. A bog, as you say, well. Uh, if you could demonstrate to us, please, using both of your hands, the correct way to put the bog rail on the bog rail holder. Take as long as you need. <laughs> you may put the bog whirl on the floor, and at the conclusion of the test, it will remain yours to keep. Oh. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You are very welcome. Three more questions, and then we're completely finished. <clears throat> Voting day has arrived at your local council elections. 
<laughs> Do you? <laughs> A, vote for the candidate you most want to win, despite them being most unlikely to. B, vote more tactically for a candidate whom you personally despise, but despise a little less than the most probable winner. <laughs> C, vote for your friend who is standing in the erection, although he is completely unsuited to the world. Or D, stay at home watching Netflix in your pyjamas. The latter, obviously. 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 Tea. You have been asked to prepare a cup of tea for a friend who requires both milk and sugar. In what order do you fix the beverage? I boil the kettle and get the cups and sugar ready. Then I proceed to add a little of milk into each of the cups, followed by the tea bag, and then water after it is boiled. Lastly, I add the required number of spoonfuls of sugar. Oh, and I serve it all on a tray with some triangular sandwiches and perhaps a few Belgian buns. Final question. A Japanese man, an Hispanic man, and an African man wearing a zebra onesie enter your boudoir unannounced. <laughs> Whom do you for wait first? For wait? For wait? <laughs> for wait? For late. Late. Suck off! Oh, <laughs> is the zebra man naked under the onesie? For the purposes of this question, yes. Him. I see. It will just take a few moments for the system to generate your score and then we... Oh dear. Oh, that can't be... Do you mean me? Jenkins, if you would please um, escort Miss Rachel's out and retire her. Ah, oh, sorry. Um, uh, so am I, Miss Jenkins, so am I. Very sorry. If you would just like to come with me, let us go outside and comment on the weather, like what true British people, what we are, do. You mean? That's right. You've won! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I have to stop you. Um, there's been an, a, a most dreadful, awful mistake. Yes? You forgot to take your ball home. <laughs> oh. Thank you. You're welcome. Jenkins, a spot of tea, I think. Uh, so, sir, what, what, what gave it away? Was it the whole fellating the zebra man? No, 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 no. That's actually one of the questions on the standard British citizenship. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just means she's a bit of a tart. Oh, right. No. Um, it, actually, it, it was the question about the tea that was the given. Oh, <laughs> when she added the milk first. Mm, quite. Ah. That wasn't testing humanity, that was testing basic human decency. Yes, she had none, none at all. <laughs> and that's how you knew she was a replicant. Oh no, she was human, but trust me, we've done the world a favour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>